Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing um, some hauls that we have, well, that I have from um, a couple weeks ago. <laughs> um, these are from a group order that I joined for Japan photo cards and your mask stuff. And then this uh, is a memory from Gypsy. Uh, I got Yoongi's um, New Day and photo cards and stuff that I got from a group order from my friends and stuff like that. And um, yeah, we're going to do a haul together and I'm going to show you guys everything that's in my box that I have to put away. It's right here. And collecting dust <laughs> but everything is gonna be in here and I have more than a hundred probably of stuff to put away so yeah we're gonna do that and then um, I'll be talking to you guys with while well, putting sleeves on here and everything so first off I joined Hobie's group order and that one took a while because it's one of the uh, group order managers that I joined for Yoongi. And that's where I got his all of his Japan photo cards. Besides the Lucky Draw. Cause I don't really collect Lucky Draw except for the concert one in the U.S. So, yeah. And, um, yeah, she does that with all the members. She does that with all the members for Lucky Draws and... Um, pre under benefit photo cards and stuff like that. So I got both of them and I came and I also got the lucky draw because she ordered it during the lucky draw time and that's when the Japan's pre under benefits are also open. So to save some cost and time she ordered some of them at the same time. So I'm, I'm assuming this one is a UMS postcard and it came with this. I want to say it is. Or is. Hold on. Yeah, I think it came with that one because it's a UMS. The Japan um, Band Club always has a hollow. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, I think these two came together, and um, I got these lucky draws, and they're all mixed. They're not all one of the same, like Japan Fan Club or UMS. I got mixed. I think I got two Japan Fan Club and one UMS. So this is the UMS um, order pre-order benefit. It's a photo card. He is. So freaking cute. And a postcard. I absolutely love this color. It's my favorite color probably. And then this one is the Japan Fan Club because it has a hollow. I'm not sure if you guys okay. Like there's a hollow. I love that it has a star instead of a heart. Usually it's the heart, but um yeah. So cute. And then these are all the lucky draws. Those are the album photo cards that it came with the album. It's not random, thankfully. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it doesn't have anything other um, inclusion, like a postcard, like that. It came with this. Um, I don't know what you call it, like a bookmark thing. So yeah, and these are ooh, these are the lucky draws. I keep thinking that was something, but it's just hot. These are the lucky draws that I got. He is so cute, and his smile, he's so cute. And I have to get like a side profile from him. He's so cute. I love it. 
And then these are the photo cards that came with the album. Like these two came from um the same one version, but yeah. This one is matches the colors. So this one came from this one. He was in, I want to say the subway when he took these pictures. And then this one is from this version. So, yeah. And it came with like a frame in there. So you have to pop out your photo card on your own. <laughs> instead of pulling it. <clears throat> because it's... Sorry about that. Um, I forgot I have my alarm on my phone. So that kind of paused everything. But... I was always saying it came with a frame and um you have to pop out your photo cards um because it's not random and it came with the the album so it's not like you can pull it you have to like open it and then pop it out <clears throat> you can't cut it out or anything like that i mean you could but it's probably not a good idea to do that so yeah so that's what I got from Hobie. I actually have one more album, but I'm going to give that to my sister-in-law because her alt is Hobie. I just keep forgetting to give it to her. So it's still in my room collecting dust. So I'm going to put the sleeves on them later. <clears throat> now I'm moving on to TXT. Dust collector. <laughs> it's so bad. Okay. So this one is the four story memory. Okay, maybe I should not do that. Okay. Okay. So this is the memory four story. And it came with additional code. Don't copy it. Um, hold on, let me take that out. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah, okay. So, this part, or this DVD came with a film strip. It is so cute. Like the contact shooting and I think the interview of a comeback. Or the, oh my gosh, we're just, like, not a press conference, but similar to it. I forgot what it's called on there. I think it's like a comeback live or something like that that they do for every comeback. I know BCS does it because they did it for every comeback. But like I said, it's not necessarily a press conference. I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. And it came with this postcard. They are so... They look so good. I miss them so much. So, yes. And then these are all members. There's no random photo cards or anything like that with this one. Which I am honestly grateful for because... The hassle of getting a random is becoming a hassle. <laughs> Much more of a hassle. It's becoming very difficult, honestly. So these are all the photo cards. I'm so happy I got this concept. There's another one. And I want to say they're in their white outfit. Like this one. I think I could be wrong. I'm going to have to check. I will probably put up the photo in here. To show you what the other... um that look like but there's two and that one is random so i got this concept orange hair june june and blonde hair kai here's kai taeyoung and they're all the same i'm pretty sure the other concept has an opposite color on the back june june and Sibian. And the same thing with this one. 
It has a Polaroid. Taya, Kai, Bomju, and Yoju. Amazing. Amazing. I'm not going to do the flip through because there is a lot. But I will stop whenever there's a page that I really like. So in here it has at Sweet Mirage Tour and it has Temptation, Do It Like That, Back For More, Free Fall, Dream Week Awards, and Three Verse Con and Lollapalooza. So it's all in that order. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. They look so good. Oh. I can't remember what happened with him on here. I think he was sick or something. Love, love. I'm assuming this one is Dream Week. Did it say on here? No. Yes, this is a Dream Week. And, um, yeah, Free Week. Dream Week, not Free Week. Anyways, they're so cute. And then this is the concept that I pulled. And the free fall. More free fall. I feel like free fall has become that, um, like underrated sibling. I guess because Temptation is very popular and everything, and then they came out with free fall. And I haven't heard any, like, not necessarily like a commotion, but like more um, talks about it. I don't know. But Temptation was that girl for sure. But so is Freefall. That one is like very different kind of vibe, and I really like that. They look so good. Kai and Black, it's just so like. What's the word? It's so him, in a way. He looks so good in black. It suits him so well. But I also feel like silver does him really well, too. Ugh, I miss this so much. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> in Japan oh my gosh amazing amazing Wait, do they have one in the US I missed it okay One day, one day, I will have the VIP. One day. Because I want to see them as a um, sound check. I just want to experience it one time. One time and done, basically. Like, my friend and I were at general mission for the floor for Mark Twan's concert. And that was amazing, but oh my gosh, never again. I am not standing up in that kind of concert at all. That one's very, my leg was tired. I can't believe people like in other K-pop um, concerts, like CXT for example, 
this year for the um, Promise Tour, it was general admission. So that means whatever tickets they get on the floor, there's no like reserve or a set seating. You have to line up or it's basically like first come first serve kind of concept. So people camp a week ahead and they have to line up to get a wristband and then they have to go back get ready and all that and they come back to line up to get their lanyard and then go and get ready again and then come back again it's like no and then they had to line up almost two and a half hours before the doors open to everybody for the seating area that is a long time and people sit but like i yeah no i'm not going through all that for a bigger area for a big old a bigger um what do you call it groups in a way but like people who are well known they go a very well known artist i'm not doing that mark was not that bad because we got there like an hour early i think but my feet was hurting because you're standing there for almost five hours no <clears throat> and then i have to walk back to my car oh gosh no Okay, anyway, so I'm going to do this one last because I want to do my Tixi haul. So my friend hosted a group order for the, um, what do you call it? <sighs> like the merch order and stuff like that. But it was online orders. So it's something that they don't have in the U.S. stop. And if they do have it for the others, um, we have it ordered online. So, um, let me take out one more thing. Well, technically two. Okay. So, she hosted a group order for the lanyard, the ticket. I got this one. I think this one. Yeah, this is a pre-owner benefit for the four story. So this was a temptation. So good. So good. Okay. The ticket, postcard, and the lanyard was in the group order that I joined. These I ordered with my friend because she wanted bomb Ju for both of these. I had this one, but I wanted this one and you have to order it together. So I'm like, I'll just grab both anyway. I'll, I'll sell this. It's fine. <clears throat> so, yeah. And I got those. I'm so happy because this is both of a U.S. lucky draw, and I got both. So, yay! And then, um, this one is random. It's not like where you pick a member that you want and then get it. No. You buy one and it's random. So, I pulled Kai, and he looked so good. So good. And I can't. He still look good in here, but I'm gonna keep it because why not? He looks so good. Okay, but I wanted this. I'm like, I don't care who what member I pull. I just want this, and I'm honestly gonna keep it because training it already is so hard. So I'm gonna open this. Oh my gosh, it has a guitar pick. That's so cute. It's not, it's not like a real one, but so cute. Oh, it's pretty wide. Wow. Okay. So we came with this. It's really big. Like, it's... Takes up a quarter of my hand. Or three quarters. Yeah. I love it. Love it. And then this one's a ticket. And it has their birthday on it. 99 September 13th. And then there are other members also. So that's why my friend hosted a group order. Because she wants to see if someone else wants to remember. But not all of them. You know what I mean? And then same thing with the postcard. It's all the members. 
so she hosted it and then I wanted you do so that's all I got from that uh, merch drop this one is not part of the merch drop this one's like a cell um, mail basically okay next is Yugi. Well, actually, let me show you. So, my friend hosted a group order from Neokyo a couple months ago. And she never got this claim. And she tried to sell it and never got claimed either. So, I'm like, you know what? It's calling my name. It's been calling my name for so long. And I just keep ignoring it. But, let me just go ahead and take him. So, I have him. And now, I'm going to look for Yugi's. So, if you know anyone that has Yungi, let me know. Let me know. Okay. So, this one is D-Day. And it came with the postcard. There's two different um, sets, I guess. Or two different options. This one, you get the whole set, but you only get a postcard. And... Another three hundred benefits, I think. If I'm wrong, correct me. And then the other one, it comes with the DVD and a poster, or like a tube of posters, and you get a Polaroid if you get that set. But due to the price difference, I was not able to afford that one. And plus, I'm like, I really don't need any more posters. I don't put them up in my room. I just keep it in a corner of my room. Like between my shelf, because my shelf are like this, so it has a little corner space. I put it all in that corner and it doesn't get touched. So I'm like, I don't want to order more pore shooters if I'm not going to use it. You know what I mean? I'm being smart here. <laughs> but I'm not shaming anyone who got it anyway. But it came with this pre benefit, so I got his postcard. I can't remember exactly what um, tour date this one is or stop and then this one came with <laughs> this coupon code i don't care if you guys screenshot it i don't i don't have that game anymore it's taking up a, a lot of storage on my phone so here you go if you want it take it so yeah this one is a, a coupon for the game and that one came as a free number bit now this one has um a keychain so cute here comes the real deal. This is so cool, honestly. Very different. Okay, let me not. Okay, this is covered. So all the photo cards are in here. Okay. And then the photo books are in here. I can take them out. Close. It's a very cool box for sure. And this one is postcards. I haven't really looked through it yet. I looked through the photo cards, but I didn't look through the postcards. So here are all the photo cards. There are 42, I think. I'm not going to count it now, but I'm assuming 42. <clears throat> yeah. So it has all the stops, all the selfies that he has from all the stops. And some days has double. So, yeah. I can't remember which one mine was. I think it was... This one, or... I think it was this one. I can't remember. But, yeah, it's all the selfie from his tour stop. This one is, is so good. Oh my god. I think that one was in California. I could be wrong. California has like four or five dates that he went. So. He did so good. So good. And I miss him so much. I am Yugi deprived for sure. For sure. So. That's all the photo cards. And then this one is so cool. I don't know how I want to store this or use this, but it is so cool. It's like an accordion, but it's clear. 
is clear and it has the mu the lyrics. It's a lyrics accordion. But yeah. And it doesn't have a back side of it. But it looks so cool. And I'm like, I don't know how I want to store this because it's like plastic clear accordion. It's not paper. Ah where you can flatten out or some people will cut it and then put it in their binders, but I, I, I don't want to do that with plastic because it can cut through, I think. All right, the photo book, I have not gone through it. <clears throat> so, let's look. This one is Rosemont. Oh, they're both, okay. I think it says on here. Not really. Behind the scenes? No, not really. The finals? No. So this one is definitely overseas one first. Yes, because he invited JK, RM, and Jimin on a stage with him to sing the song. So he sang Strange with RM that he was featured in. He sang with Jimin for Tony Montana. I had, I lost a little, I last minute bought the ticket for online uh, viewing. And I literally cried when I saw this because I'm like, we will never see this live, ever. We saw his part of it, but not Jimin's part. Jimmy's part is so iconic. And I think they did switch it up a little bit. So, and here's JK. I think he did burn it. Yeah. Instead of uh, Max. So, it was so iconic performance. What really made me bawl my eyes out is... Um, where? He's so cute. Oh my gosh. I can't. <gasps> Is that Hobie? I don't know. No, JK. Ooh, my bad. What really made me bawl my eyes out? This part. Because she was crying. And it was uh, from Dear My Best Friend. Oh my gosh. When I first heard that song from D2, I literally cried. Because I'm like, I haven't even read the lyrics, translations, but I know it's very heartfelt. I just know it. There's no telling from that. <clears throat> so this is, I'm assuming all the U.S. tour dates. He was amazing. Amazing. And of course, Max and Hosley came to his um, one of the California days. I think it was Oakland. And he was amazing. He's so cute, though. Yeah, amazing. Now to the postcards. I haven't seen these. They're pretty huge. No, a sticker. Okay. That is so cool. Love it. Okay. I love that he had all the members sign his guitar, wishing him well. And he's saying that them signing it makes him feel like they're all with him throughout the tour date or throughout the tour. Oh my gosh, this was iconic. That one and the jacket, because I think Valentino made it for him. And it's like exclusive to Yungi's only. This one. It's like it's one in the whole world. No one else has it. But honestly, I met really nice army during this concert. They were definitely all older. <laughs> For sure. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. <clears throat> So that's pretty much everything I have from this haul. So now we are going to, to leave them. So let me put this back. this in here because I don't have any place to put this. I'm going to put it in here. Okay, there we go. Now, time to sleep them. Now, to my box. I have so many photo cards in here. So many. And I'm about to have more on the way. It's insane. So insane. Okay. So my sleeves, and I need my, uh, mini peachy sleeve. I only have one of them, and I need it. Where should I put this? Mm. I don't think it matters at this point. Okay. So, definitely need a lot of more sleeves than this. And I bought more. I went to this anime store at my state. Well, not even my state, but like downtown in my state and they have dragon shoe sleeves so i'm like oh, do they have clear and i look they have five boxes of clear so i grabbed two my best friend dropped three <laughs> and i grabbed one color sleeve and it's my birthstone color so i'm like i have to have it because it's so pretty so i'm trying to figure out what i want to do with those because it's the color backing <coughs> It's not clear in that color, so it's like clear in the front and then that color in the back. So, so why should I sleep these? Why not? Why not? So, but um, yeah, I'm like, let me grab those because I need those so bad. And I bought. A Sailor Moon shirt that I saw there, and it was just so pretty. It's like a black shirt, and it has the city during the nighttime where they do all their superhero things. And it has the shape of Luna, and inside of that shape is the city during the nighttime, but it still has that, um, um, a little crescent moon on her forehead, and then Sailor Moon on her under um lineup so cool i have it but it's dirty could i already worn it <laughs> already worn it so yeah so yeah that was fun I'm like yeah you don't have to order online and wait and wait and wait but it usually takes like a week for it to arrive but now we have it on hand and now we know where to go now. I do have a spot in my town where I live in. Um, they have grass issues, but I did not see clear. So I'm like, okay, where is it? But it's the same price as the one online. It's about $13 for a box. Because how popular clear is. But this place that I saw in my hometown, they have all different colors, all different sizes, like Japan size. And those Japan sleeves fit in the A5 pocket, most of them. 
I know some of them, um, custom made it so that the dragon shield sleeve can fit in it. But the one that I started using for A5 pockets only fits the dragon shield. I mean, not the dragon shield. The, well, yeah, it is the dragon shield, but the Japan version. Or the Japan size one. So. And I liked it. And it works great as the inner sleeves because they're kind of skinny. They're kind of skinny here. So I want to say it's like this much off. From the whole sleeve and then it's about the same um heights as a regular dragon shield but it's more of a, a slim fit for sure so i really liked it <clears throat> and um yeah i need to figure out when i want to do or how i want to sort this like do i wait more or what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? I think I'm gonna wait a little bit longer until my other photo cards arrive so I can do a huge photo card put away. I'm actually gonna count all of this because why not? But yeah. I think I'm gonna do some groups because I have photo cards to put away for almost all of the groups. I think I have some for Goth 7, finally, and then some for Stray Kiss. Stray Kiss has been hard for me to find photo cards that I want. And I still haven't got their new album, same thing as in Hyphen. I haven't got their new album either, but I did order photo cards on Neokyo on my friend's account. So, I just need to buy the album. But it's so far out of my way to get them. So here is all you guys. Right here. Now Joan June. Okay, this is not a bad sleeve. Okay. Leave it there and I'm gonna double sleeve it. Okay, that's just the wall. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put that one here. Okay, now for all of these, I'm gonna sleeve it. I think I'm gonna do two members. you guys a question but it just came out of my mind i've been trying to think about it that's why there was silence mm. oh yeah do you guys like what for bts fans did you guys like any of the uh, or all of the solos album i really enjoy listening to them all there's one album that i not a huge fan of it because generally I don't listen to rap. There are a few rap that I really enjoy listening, but there are some rap where I just don't vibe with, I guess. That's the word. And it was RM with me with the rapping situation. I really liked it for some music, but like the other one, I'm like, hmm, it's just not my vibe. I don't know why. I try to like it, I just can't buy with it. But I do like um, 
what is that one song from his album? Come Back to Me? That song is so good. I love that one. And what's the other one? Nuts. That was wild, honestly. But I just can't listen to it too often. I think it's like more of one time and done every once in a while. So, yeah. But I did like um, Hobie's song. I think it was... Um, there's this one song that I like. I think it was Stop. But it featured with someone in there. And that was pretty good. That was really good. I think I like rap music, but it has to be like a calm <laughs> rap song. Or like not too fast. So, no. Um, what's the other one? Jimmy's new album was really good also. I also have this album on the way. Um, I just haven't got it to me yet. I did order, um, what do you call it? I order packed because I sent it to my k Addy. So I have it ordered packed for me so it can get to me soon. That's also what I have on the way. <laughs> I have so many stuff on the way. Um, yeah, and then for Tay's solo album, I saw some mixed um, reaction from it. Some people didn't like it because it's like, what's the point of getting a featured um, album in it? But honestly, I think it was pretty good. I don't know. I didn't understand, like, there's not, like, enough lyrics for a featured person to be considered as featured. But it's a pretty good song. And what's the other one? Who are other really good songs? JK. His solo. That one's really good. I think it was Never Let Me Go or Never Let You Go. That one's really good. Or Never Let Go. Something like that. That one's really good. I haven't heard that song in a while for some reason. But that one's really good. Um, Who else really says song? Jen had a release a song. I'm waiting. It's like click, 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 waiting. Now, Yoongi, it's like he does a tour and then he's like, peace out. <laughs> it's kind of funny to me. Um, what else? Mm, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. They all did great, honestly. I really like their. Um, perspective in some songs where they try to portray in their lyrics because you know sometimes when people make songs they're trying to tell us something and um, I try to look for that and some song is not because it's obvious when it's like a very chill song and they just want to sing and stuff like that I get that but like for Arm's album and Hobie's album I feel like there's some kind of message that was trying to be shared and so that was very interesting to read the translation lyrics for and um yeah they did great honestly they are amazing I mean they are not amazing you know so um yeah so I think this is all I have to put away and include this haul so i will see you guys next time for my kayati haul and my neokyo and then hopefully my um what do you call it my uh put away so yeah i guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and my unboxing or not my unboxing my haul and i will see you guys next time